Hello everyone, my name is Steve Johnson. My wife and I are the owners of here at Parallel 44 and Door 44, and I serve as the winemaker for both places. Today's topic is the five S's of wine appreciation. It's kind of a guide that really helps you on your own figure out what you like or dislike in the wine. And it also serves as a good framework when you're conversing with your friends, trying to compare notes about wine. It's really not that challenging or intimidating. It's just a matter of kind of going through the wine in a step-by-step -step process by using as many of your sensory capacity as, as possible. So we're gonna do both red and white here. And the first S is sight. Now, what you're looking for in a white wine is clarity and color. And to hold the wine at a 45 degree angle against the white background is the best way to evaluate color and clarity. Uh, this is Glacier Fumé. Uh, now, if this was Chardonnay, you'd see more of a straw golden color. But with other whites, from Riesling to Sauvignon Blanc to Moscato, you really want clarity, not that much color. Uh, when it comes to reds, what you're looking for is an indication of what type of wine it might be in terms of the depth of color. The lighter red hue is indicative of more like a Pinot Noir. The deeper, darker reds would reflect more of a, a Syrah or Cabernet. So you can kind of get a sense of what's in your glass just by looking at the color of the wine. Also, if you see a browning ridge over the wine, then that's a sign of some oxidation and age, which is good sometimes for red. This is a very fresh, young red, so you're not going to see any signs of oxidation on this. Now you move to the second S of swirling. Some people think this is a snobby thing to do, but there's really two good purposes for it. One is, by swirling it, you can get a sense of the body of the wine. Now, if you look at the wine closely and hold it to light, you start to see all these streamlets come down the wall of the glass. Now, this is really rather... Um, um, significant in terms of the legs that we see. So this shows you more alcohol and body than a lot of other reds would probably show you. But then the second uh, purpose of swirling is to release the aromatics of the wine. Because the third step is going to be about smelling the wine. And you should know that over 80% of your sensation of the wine or your flavor expression in the wine is coming from your sense of smell. So we swirl that wine to release the aromatics. And then we put our nose in the glass for the third S of smelling. And you can take a large deep breath or you can take several smaller sniffs. But either way, you should get your nose in that glass and fully uh, get all the expressions, the aromatics, the bouquet elements from that wine. Because when you look at tasting notes or at the back uh, of the wine bottle, you see these descriptions. And they only come to life once you start to smell that wine. Now you get to the fourth S of sipping. And that's a process by which you still want to use your sense of smell. So what we often do is take in some air over uh, our tongue as we sip the wine. It's kind of like breathing air through your teeth. It can be kind of annoying because it sounds like you're slurping or chewing the wine, but that will really give you the most full expression of the wine. And then you finally move to the last step of savoring which is particularly important for red wines because red wines are really about body, uh, intensity, mouthfeel, lingering notes. And that comes while you're having the wine on your palate and then what remains on your palate after you swallow. It can be sometimes a, a two-fold sensation. In other words, you may get fruit aromatics up front before you swallow and then after you swallow, you get lingering notes. And that's reflective of the complexity of the wine. And um, this here, Tundra Red, you can kind of get lingering notes that uh, are sometimes different than what you first ex expect from just the smelling of the wine. So these are just a few simple steps that you can take on your own or with friends to get a deeper, richer experience of the wine. So until next time, cheers.